Hello everyone, Gene Molina here, Natural Tennis Solutions. We are back. We are ready to talk about the infamous waiter's serve. A lot of suggestions, a lot of ways to get rid of the waiter's serve. I've tried to find a few different ways myself. I think I have found something that should work for the majority of people. So I will go through a progression here. Hopefully everybody can take a look and see if they will uh, get an idea of what is happening here and what the biggest component of getting rid of the waiter's serve is. So pretty much the waiter's serve is most people will grip it with the forehand grip and they will set up to hit the serve this way. Usually it'll be tossing and setting up with a the arm ends up in this position here and this takes away a lot of velocity. You can't really generate enough power. So what I've tried to do is I've tried to set something up that hopefully will get this progression to be a little bit better. So the progression starts out with the throwing motion. It's always been trying to teach people how to throw. So the throwing motion. But I want to show you a progression this way. So I'm going to hold my arm up where it is at a nice 90 degree angle. My elbow is lined up with my shoulder. And all I'm going to do is just go from, my shoulder is now externally rotated. It's rotated back this way. And I'm just going to go and internally rotate the shoulder so that the arm does this, where it turns in this way. So now I'm going to release the ball like I'm trying to throw it down. And that's all the throw is going to be. This does take a little bit of a toll on the shoulder if you're doing it for a while. So just be careful with, with uh, using this shoulder this way. If you have a weak shoulder, you might want to just do it in intervals. Holding it up here, rotating down. Second part of the progression is we put the arm at an angle here. So now what I want to show you guys is that this is about stretching the shoulder muscle in order to get rid of this waiter's serve, we have to learn how to stretch the shoulder muscle so that it can stretch and then be released again. Just like we did with the core rotation, it's stretching the core and releasing the core right away. So we want to do the same with the shoulder. So if I set up the arm here and then I stretch and release, now the ball gets launched a little bit further because I'm using the stretching in my shoulder muscle. So I stretch and release. Now, one major thing here is, as the release happens, the arm needs to stay very relaxed. It actually gives the tricep a little bit of a jiggle, call it the jiggle. So the arm will just be very loose when you come up this way. The other thing to take note of is, as you stretch back and then go forward, the shoulder comes up. If you try to keep it back here, it will go back and then come up. So it should look a little bit like a serve when the pros kind of make that move into the ball. So it goes stretch and forward. So here it is again, stretch and release. And notice I kept my elbow pretty much lined up with the shoulder. Most people will try to do this. They'll go and they'll throw forward, keeping the elbow forward. Just keep that elbow right where it is. But the elbow rises and so does the shoulder on the release. So now the progression from that becomes to use the racket. So if I use the racket, I'm going to try to do the same progression that I just did. I won't start here though, I'll start in this position. So I'll toss the ball up and I'll do the same progression where I will stretch back and stretch forward where the elbow and shoulder come up again. So I will toss and come up and the ball will get hit straight down so I toss and it comes down so at this point I'm trying to make that same motion happen stretch back to stretch forward it's a pretty quick rotation right now my shoulders getting a little bit tired doing repetitive motions of this does make the shoulder tired so again pace yourself Make sure you're not going to hurt your shoulder doing this. Um, as far as the effort that it takes right now to get this, this to go, 
it does feel a little bit painful if you do it too much but just realize that you're gonna be getting your body to do the throwing and to get your arm to do what it's gotta do. Right now we're isolating the arm to just get a feel for the stretch and release of that muscle. So now if I progressively start trying to serve, what I wanna do is I wanna just start out here. I'll start out here again. I can toss and try to get this ball to go over the net. Toss and go. And I'm not doing anything other than just keeping the arm here and getting this. The stretch and release. Stretch and release. Looks completely different than doing this and swinging forward. So it's getting the momentum of the racket head to come up and stretch this back so that it can just stretch and kind of slingshot back forward to get that rotation. So once I get this part set up, I can graduate a little bit to turning sideways like I would to serve out this way. So now if I have the racket in this position, I can actually serve from here. I can get this to go and go out. But what I've realized is that as I get people to do this and swing and turn, they start to lose that rotation of the shoulder and that. So what I have come up with is we are going to stay sideways. So right now I'm going to face the camera. I'm going to set up here and I'm just going to toss and hit. And I'm not going to turn my body that direction. I'm just going to get my body used to staying this way, turning and hitting that way. I can actually make these serves, not even looking at the target area, but just because I've gotten used to the feel of setting up here, tossing, not turning my body. And the angle that it goes in is pretty, it's pretty amazing how I can get myself to just do this, but the ball still goes out to that side. Right now, I know it seems a little bit weird that I'm not turning to hit this serve, but this is really where it should make itself apparent to you that it's all about the stretching and holding of this piece of your body. If you take a look at some pro serves, you will see they go up into the serve, they hit the serve, they keep their body in this position throughout that finish, and then it'll finish around going out this way, but it really is going to be about keeping your body sideways as long as possible to contact. Then after contact, whatever happens after contact doesn't really matter. But to contact, keeping your body facing this way, you will get what's called the cut across serve and I will do a separate video on what that is. At this point, I will show a different angle of the serve so that way you guys can see from behind what the serve looks like as I hit with my angle this way. Um, also, I'll show another take on how to get yourself to feel this. Okay, so here I have the side view, and this is a teaching tool for some people that don't feel like they understand it. The wall is on my side. This is netting, but pretend it's a wall if you want to use a wall. My arm is against the netting or the wall, and I literally just do the twisting on the wall. So you, you have something concrete to feel the rotation going this way. So you can actually feel that. Then you can progress to keeping the angle, stretching and rotating. You can throw a ball if you want to against the wall or whatever. But just keeping yourself to understand that when you're setting up by the baseline, you are visually getting yourself to feel like there's something here stopping your arm from moving from this spot. You want to keep it in this spot. You don't want it to go forward too much. You want it to stay right there, right in that position. Okay, here's the example from behind.
I know I'm going through it pretty quickly. I'm just used to going that fast. You guys probably should be doing it a little bit slower. If I do a slower one, here's what it would look like. So the, the pace of it really at first should be slow so you kind of get a feel of what that is. I do it fast because I just feel that stretching just releasing, it just goes. So that would be the end of this video. Please like, please share, give me some questions, comments, let me know what your biggest problem is with your serve if you've um, got an idea that it's not the waiter's serve part. I know that that's a big problem, but let me know. I will hopefully see you on the next one.